The automaker is vying for a large share of the electric vehicle market. Is a legacy automaker finally producing an EV capable of competing with Tesla? Ford's first real attempt at an electric vehicle has received positive feedback from critics. Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Electric. In this video, we are going to talk about how Ford is beating its competitors with Mustang EVs. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin. The Ford Mustang Mach-E is a battery-powered compact crossover SUV manufactured by Ford. The vehicle was unveiled on November 17, 2019 and will go on sale as a 2021 model in December 2020. The vehicle bears the Mustang nameplate with the Mach-E moniker inspired by the first-generation Mustang's Mach-1 variant. The vehicle was named the 2021 North American SUV of the year. In February 2022, the Mustang Mach-E replaced the Tesla Model 3 as Consumer Reports' top pick. In May, it was named the best car in the Automobile Association of America Car Guide. In June 2021, Car and Driver named it the magazine's first EV of the year. Highlighted Accents The 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E combines popular past and present elements in a highly desirable package that bodes well for the future of electric vehicles. While it may appear sacrilegious for Ford to call a crossover EV a Mustang, combining the iconic nameplate with a popular body style is smart marketing. Along with its eye-catching exterior, the Mach-E has a luxuriously appointed interior brimming with cutting-edge technology. It also has clever storage solutions, a roomy back seat, and plenty of cargo space. When you get behind the wheel of an electrified Mustang, it feels agile and quick. The sportiest version accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, faster than a Mustang Mach 1, and the Ranger versions are expected to travel more than 300 miles on a single charge. All of this and more makes the Mustang Mach-E 2022 a transcendent EV. It was named Utility of the Year at the 2021 North American Car and Truck of the Year Awards, one of the automotive industry's most prestigious honors. All of the praise is assisting Ford in taking on Tesla, the largest brand in EV sales in the US. Purists criticized Ford's decision to call its first EV a Mustang, claiming the vehicle isn't a true Mustang. However, Ford wanted to position its first EV as a bold and fun vehicle that drew on its heritage. The GT is the highest end Mach-E, capable of going from 0 to 60 mph in 3.5 seconds. Tesla's Model Y performance costs about $7,000 more than the GT, but has the same acceleration time and a longer range. Aside from its lower price, reviewers say the Mach-E has some advantages, such as an easier-to-use in-vehicle entertainment system, superior driver assistance features, and better reliability. The Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y have collided, and here's how they compare. If there is one segment that is gaining traction faster than mid-sized crossovers, it is probably the EV crossover, and American automakers are leading the charge in this space with two of the hottest contenders, namely the Tesla Model 3 and the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Does the Mustang Mach-E have what it takes to dethrone Tesla's reign? Here are eight reasons why the Mach-E is superior and four reasons why the Model Y is superior. Where the Ford Mustang Mach-E predominates There are some features in Mustang that are better than the Tesla model. Improved interiors On paper, Ford is not as large as Tesla, but it has been in the game for much longer and its experience shows where it counts. The interior of the Mach-E is much more conventional, with a variety of textures and finishes. The dual display approach, which uses a separate readout in front of the driver to display speed, range, and other information to mimic a traditional instrument cluster, is also less distracting than Model Y's single-screen approach. Tesla's minimalistic aura appears futuristic, but unless you have severe OCD or live an ultra-minimalist life, the plain gray interiors with one huge slab in the middle will grow old quickly. The Ford crossover not only outperforms in terms of finishes, but the use of physical controls to adjust things like steering, side mirrors, volume and air conditioning simply makes it easier to live with and makes the transition to an EV a relatively painless process in comparison to a Tesla, which has a steeper learning curve. Make better use of space. Because both the Mach-E and Model Y are intended to be practical family crossovers, the amount of space available and how it is utilized is critical in this discussion. For what it's worth, the Mach-E has a slight advantage in this category as well. Both offer spacious cabins, but the Mach Rear E's seats feel more spacious and provide more leg and shoulder room, making it better suited to longer journeys. And while the boot is smaller than the Model Y, the frunk is a different story. Not only does Ford provide partitions to keep your groceries from flying around, but it also has a drain plug to store your cold beer, and it doesn't get more American than that. Better construction quality Build quality has been an issue for Tesla since its inception, and while it has improved, it is still no match for Ford. 
The Mach-E has better paint quality with no obvious orange peel effect, and the hinges and body panel simply feel more reassuring than the Model Y. The same story is told in the interior, where the plastic quality and interior touch points feel noticeably better, and the use of various textures and fabrics lends it a sense of quality that Tesla lacks. Better Applicability Both of these vehicles are classified as crossovers, and while the higher seating position and higher ground clearance are desirable features for some, most owners will never take these vehicles off-road, and Ford recognizes that not everyone who buys these crossovers will live in icy conditions. As a result, the Mach-E is also available with RWD, which not only reduces costs, but also reduces weight and increases range, making it more practical than the AWD-only Tesla Model Y. It's an odd argument to make every now and then, but the Mach-E does a better job of being a regular car, which is an underrated feature. In terms of practicality, Ford has paid attention to the small details that make the Mach-E an easier car to live with, beginning with the inclusion of blind spot monitoring, which is far easier to use in the Ford than in the Model Y. Better Appearances The subject of appearance is always subjective, but the mock controversial ease styling cues, which Ford stole from the Mustang, do lend it a pleasing aesthetic. Its coupe-like silhouette, combined with the Mustang-inspired taillight and headlight design, make it stand out. The Model Y, on the other hand, appears too plain and familiar, which may appeal to some people, but the fact that it resembles a Jack Model 3 detracts from its identity, and as a result, many people believe that Mach-E has a styling advantage. Improved Functionality Tesla's technology was years ahead of the competition when it first appeared on the automotive scene, and every Tesla centerpiece has been its massive central touchscreen, which allows you to play games and make fart noises. However, it still has some glaring omissions in 2022, such as the lack of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which the Mustang Mach 15.5-inch E's central screen has managed to integrate, greatly improving functionality on daily commutes. The Mach-E also includes a 360-degree camera as standard, which the Model Y does not have. Improved Regenerative Brakes Tesla might have an edge over the Mach-E in the numbers game with higher performance figures, but the Mach-E manages to be a very easy car to drive. Regen braking is an integral part of an EV driving experience, and the Mach-E's calibration makes it feel a lot more natural, something that can't be said for the Model Y. Better Price One important area where the Mustang Mach-E completely outperforms the Model Y is in pricing. The 2022 Mach-E has a starting price of $43,895, while the 2022 Tesla Model Y starts at $58,990. Even though their top spec models are priced similarly, the Mach-E provides a much more approachable entry point into the same segment, giving it an advantage over the Tesla. Leaving any trace of Ford badging on the Mach-E is likely to be a short-term gain, but as mentioned earlier, it could be a long-term loss. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Make your own judgment about the car's appearance and what it says about you, but there's no doubt that underneath it all is a very well-executed machine. It walks the fine line between lifestyle and family versatility as deftly as the Polestar 2 or Jaguar I-Pace, and it has a bit of a dynamic edge to it like them. Simply put, it's fun to drive an electric car. Just don't let the badge fool you. This is not a Mustang, and thinking of it as such is deceptive. It's a hybrid electric vehicle. It's also a good one. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.